Welcome to another episode, exciting episode of Girl Talk. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. Christina Ray. Jody Silva. Jen Pedranti. Katie Janella. We have a great episode for you today. We are so lucky to have two fabulous housewives in the house. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Ooh, that was for having, having us. Adorable in here. Yeah. Well, thank you. You like the studio? I like it. It's I want to talk with you all the time. Well, thank you. We're, you know, <laughs> the podcast is a lifestyle podcast. We know there's a lot of drama going on with everything, but we want to know who you are. So we're excited to have you here today. And, and I even have surfboards. I made it a little California, a little, so little girly that. lifestyle. But you both aren't from California. No, nope. correct. So where are you from originally? I grew up in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Know, like a tiny town in Oklahoma. And it's how did funny. you end up here? So my ex-husband is born and raised California. And I, after college, was like, I'm going to be a flight attendant and get the heck out of, out of this small town. And I was based in D.C. And my ex-husband was in law school in D.C. So met him, got married, and then we moved back to California, his hometown. So wait, flight attendant meets law. Flight attendant met law, law and got married. Wow. And flight attendant said, get me out of Oklahoma. And <laughs> I came to California. <laughs> Even though you Smart. could go anywhere in the world, you stuck with him. I stuck with it. Yep. <laughs> yep. And how did you end up here? Uh, we moved to Southern California end of 2020. Okay. My husband left his contract with Golf Channel and started his own business out here. Yeah. And that's kind of an exciting um, thing that he's got. See, I golf. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. I'm a big golfer. And and I, I this is too soon to talk about, but I was Googling you. Oh, God. <laughs> She's a little obsessed. Oh, and God. you have <laughs> golf balls. I do. That have yes. alcohol in them. Yeah. Okay. Is this a new venture? Who's your, yeah. your it says co-founder. Yeah, so um, that's why we moved to Orange County, actually, because my business partner is a dear friend of mine. Her name's Dolores. She actually lives in Newport. Oh. And so I was driving up and down here. We were in San Diego. And I was like, I kind of didn't care for San Diego anyways. And so I was like, why don't we just move up there? And Matt works from home. He has an office in Oceanside, but he works from home. So he was like, okay. So um, basically, you know, golf balls come in a sleeve. Yes. So we have created a golf ball that the top twists off and there's flavored shots inside. And we have six different flavors. We have a margarita. We have a John Daly. We have a transfusion. We have a breakfast ball, which is like um, champagne flavor and um, orange juice. And so um, they're called tee shots. And they come in a sleeve and there's four of them. And and they're shaped like golf balls. I'll throw them up on the screen for you. You're going to die. Everybody that golfs that watches this. It's cool. Are are they delicious? They're so good. And it's vodka based? We have vodka and tequila. Oh. And um, this is agave. It says gluten free, agave, yes, all that. It's other all stuff. natural flavors. And we have really good alcohol. We white label really good alcohol. Oh, God. That's I am amazing. so excited. Well, I got I- to go to the, ta- the taste testing. When yeah, she went with we, me Ooh, when they tasting. were like rolling all their flavors out. And I have to tell you, like, that is like a science they've got going on oh my God. over there. We had to wear lab coats. Well, yeah, <laughs> because you have a formulator that does. Yeah. I mean, you've got to get the yeah. formula right. I mean, without that formula, without somebody actually making a proprietary formula with your white label alcohol, anybody could do it. So right. you got to make sure it's right. And right. So it's got to taste the same every time you buy it. So it has Correct. to be down to the science. It is like yeah. 0.02% this yeah. and it's crazy. Well, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I hope that Thank goes you. well. You're going to have to bring some back when you come back. I will for sure. After I the know. reunion, we can start talking housewives because right now we can't. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. I'll definitely bring some back. They're okay. delicious. Yeah, no, we'll try it. And then also, so tell me now you're a yogi. I am. Yep. And are you still a yogi? Yes. And I was dying when I was reading something I think you sent. It was like, she does yoga and something about, and it's boring. (laughs) Oh, I was was like, oh, yes. A lot of people say that. And it's so funny. No, I I was dictating. Oh, okay. I'm like, I was reading it thinking, okay, does she want me to talk about why is yoga boring? Girl, it's not supposed to be boring. (laughs) But so many people say that because so many people who are like fitness people, Say I can't do yoga. I just don't have time for that. I, I feel that way. So it's not that I feel that it, it's not a good workout. I'm too ADHD to sit there with my thoughts at the end of a session. Is it kills me? I can't sit there and lay there and meditate or whatever you're supposed to do after a session or hold positions. Mm-hmm. I need something like more strenuous, which yeah. is hilarious because I would tell you, you probably need that. Like if there is can't something that can't, ADD. you cannot yeah. keep yourself in your own thoughts. There's probably something there that you need to address. I'm just saying, I I don't know. I I have to have it. It is like my reset. And I like to work out as well. But yoga kicks my, can we cuss on here? 
No, yeah, absolutely. My <laughs> my as ass. long as it's not the first six seconds, because then yeah. YouTube cuts you off. Oh, oh. so we're good now. Okay, we're, we're past good. six okay. seconds. But I'll have you girls come. We'll take a no, class. For yeah, sure. okay. is, is it heated or anything? Yes. Oh, it is. Okay. Where's it at? So we're in Rancho Santa Margarita. Okay, great. Where? So you know we do we take an Uber, yes, drink right, some champagne, right and oh, then show up? Like better. You're not supposed to get to yoga and sit there and watch it. She's coming. See, I'm not a yoga person. You're gonna come too. No, I mean, I think this is actually nice. For me. Okay, I'll come for you. You might want to get into yeah, it. Yeah, it's like relaxing. Okay. I mean, yeah, like, but- listen, there's hard parts of yoga too. Like, yeah. I've definitely done like a hot yoga class before in LA when I used to live in LA. Yep. So, I mean, it was, I mean, it was hard. Like, if you get into hard stuff and then like, I mean, people are like really sweating in there. So it just depends on like, you well, know, because it's hot. Yeah. yeah. But I've also taken like yoga <laughs> classes where it. it's more like zen and. there you know. We do. We have yeah. all of, all of the above. I can't do that Just give me one class. Yeah. So, yeah. so okay. So after you're finished filming, do you all go to yoga to decompress from getting yelled at on camera? <laughs> These like, what do you do? Need like, to come no. to yoga. I'm going to Napa. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm going to take a nap to like just relax. So that's what after filming. I mean, you guys, we can't talk about what's happening in filming, but I mean, you're getting yelled at a lot this season. I mean, how, how is it coming into the Housewives, Katie, and just literally getting? ran over what is going on with the heather Debro thing and the paparazzi because i really think she called the paparazzi too and i really think you were given information <laughs> oh. and you just happened to just talk to her or just say it because you were given the information yeah. why would you lie you do not seem like a liar why, well and what would be the purpose of that yeah. first of all right um it's just silly that yeah and you, you didn't know even- that, that she just can't be like yeah you know what we're going through a tough time there was a bad there's bad press about us. I just wanted people to see who we really are. That's yeah. all. It doesn't matter. I have a question. And Do you think now looking back when mm-hmm. you confronted Heather or whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it, you wish you had more information to go into the argument with? Do you wish you had more facts so then she couldn't come back at saying that you were lying? Because um, if you had more information, she couldn't say anything back. I'm not sure what I can say. Um, yes, at the time, I maybe should have. But... It's very obvious in my mind, if you watch that part, that she's not telling the truth. When somebody loses their mind like that, yeah. and it yeah. becomes a big- See, I told you, Christina. Become, what? Yeah. And when it becomes a big production- When they get caught, they <clears throat> lash out. Because it's not even a big deal. Even, even, if, she even it. if it was a lie, even no. if you made it up, it still wouldn't be a point Own it. where you Own your lie. No, but I meant- <laughs> If just, I lied. No, I meant just- If, if I say, lied. Yeah, she Katie should be like, lied. that's not true. Like, Move on. Yeah. That's it. I, I told Katie, this is how I feel about it. I, I don't, if I had the ability to be somewhere and say, hey, there's a, there's enough crap about my man in, in, right. <laughs> out there. Like, I wish I had the ability to be like, I'm just going to dial up paparazzi 411 and be way, like, by the way, I'll be here. <laughs> They'd be like, who are you? No. I mean, I said Heather <laughs> should be like, yeah, I called the paparazzi and yep. they, they showed and up. And they showed up. I, yeah. She should just. Yeah. She How much just, is it per hour for a paparazzi cameraman? I have no Don't idea. Know. It's I more it's, the, why would they the photo. <laughs> it's more the photo yeah. is sold. Oh, why, okay. why don't you call Heather and ask her? Uh, hold on. Is she or no? Heather. <laughs> <laughs> what did you pay for what that photo? What did you pay for the photos? <laughs> did you film like with this? Heather? No. No, oh, I you like, didn't. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, I didn't. Your I didn't. Season. But okay. So, you know, when you get caught, you get caught. No, regardless. And in the housewife world, when I was on the housewives, it was a very, they kept calling me a liar the whole time. And like, you don't own your house. You don't this. You're poor. You're this. But then they would just Google it and I owned everything. So they couldn't, they had to shut up. And then there was no more brought up. So if they keep bringing it up and they keep trying to make it so obvious, it Mm -hmm. seems like a lie to me. And to me, when you get caught, you get aggressive. I mean, I've lied and got caught and I'm like, nah. And then I'm like, yeah, just shut up. (laughs) You're like, shoot. You know what I like about the paparazzi gate is that's what we should be fighting about. And I know Heather doesn't love it. But it is kind of petty. It's not too dark. It's not evil. It's not below the belt. It's like, did you, didn't you? I heard this. Yeah. Um, It caused a good little rift between these two women. Yeah. I agree. And I honestly didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. I didn't think it would yeah. be life changing for me to say like, <laughs> I heard you did this. And she's like, ah, she like lost yeah. her mind. I was like, oh, wow. Like, but I you calling. also didn't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's what I've said to her. Had I known Katie, if she would have called me before season and said, hey, I'm sitting on this. What do I do? I would have been like, girl, sit on that. Because Heather doesn't find stuff like that funny. But she no. didn't know. She had no idea. She thought like, this is easy. It's kind of like, a, it's laughable. When I was told it was funny. 
It, well, is she really living in the Balboa Bay? Does she in the Balboa Bay Club or no? Is Christina. She, Christina. I Christina. mean, I don't think she is. Really? Well, I mean, listen, I think she's just filming there whenever it's convenient. I don't think she lives in Orange County. Do you think she's going to do a crossover to Beverly Hills, maybe? I mean, Trying maybe. to get on Beverly Hills? I have no idea. I mean, she's friends with yeah, mm-hmm. a lot yeah. of them, I yeah. think. And, yeah. and it's and she's very, building her dream I think there. she would fit in better. She almost does fit in better <laughs> in, in Beverly Hills. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's what we have come to love here in Orange County about Fancy Pants is Fancy Pants. You know, she yeah. kind of, she owns that of our cast. She mm-hmm. embodies that for mm-hmm. sure. So, yeah. um, who, who got the jet? I want to know who paid for that. Not she did. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we had a group hug. <laughs> I got a deal because I was like, "I'll get the jet yeah. and the coffee." Yeah, I'm gonna be behind the scenes, sugar daddy. Okay, I'm like, "Who's the sugar daddy that got the jet?" Because I know Beverly Hills, they got sugar daddies galore. But Orange okay. County does oh, this. They do what? Oh, I was like, "They do." Hello, you haven't heard? No, no. I'm moving to Beverly Hills. Uh, Stop uh, spreading rumors. Okay, well, I will <laughs> offer the. No, just kidding. <laughs> No. I'll offer the jet next time. Just kidding. <laughs> um, no, but uh, okay. So, so let's let's talk a little bit. I know, I, I know, we can't really talk too much about it, but off camera, are you friends with any of the ladies for real, or is it just all kind of a? Because it seems like this season, you both brought such a great dynamic and the youthfulness and the just yeah. the energy was there. Congratulations! Oh, I mean, it was great to watch both of you. You stood your ground. You love Ryan for sure. Yes, I do. No questions yeah. asked. Yeah. Um, and you know, they were getting on you for going to Vegas all the time. I'm sorry, you, but by every the way. person in Newport goes to Vegas all the time. It's the Miami of the West Coast. It, it, exactly. That's what we do. It's right there. Yeah, it's, it's so I mean, easy. Yeah. Right there. Well, yeah. I don't understand why anybody would care if your boyfriend, now fiance, is taking you to Vegas or anywhere either. else or it helping was... you out with anything. It's none of anybody's business. Correct. Yeah. And I think the only people who are actually going to be talking about it are the people who are jealous about it. So. You know, it's funny. I kind of yeah. was like, gosh, if Shane and Emily go away for the weekend, do we need to right? find out who bought the plane tickets? I mean, yeah. but it's husband and wife, so nobody exactly. even thinks about it. But I it. think they just ran with that story so much that it became... That, oh, you ev- were so poor. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh my God, you're Rolex. Yeah. And it's like, so, I know. shut up. Yeah. So every it time is. you did shut something, up. it was constant. Well, how does she pay for that? Yes. And it's none of anyone's business, it's not. for starters. No. Yeah. We say yeah. together, and we I say it a lot about Jen... What she does with her bank account and in her bedroom is not my business. Exactly. I don't care. By the way, also like with the glam comments, they made so many comments about you. Like, I know. Like, I'm sorry, for glam but and she each can't and every pay for single bills. person on the show or any other franchise yes. is what's, getting glam done. What's okay. on TV? What's hard <laughs> is we get trade. I mean, yeah. Yeah. exactly. You yeah. know, and so, yeah. but when you're filming and they're coming at you, I can't be like, Girl, I made two posts for her yesterday. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's why my hair is done. <laughs> well, and but, in London, you, I had to clarify on my Instagram this week. They were commenting on the show that we had glam. That was gifted to me by my husband. My husband's dear friend in London oh. has like the biggest makeup brand in Europe. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh, she owns brand? it. It's called Sculpted by Amy. She's from Ireland. She started this crazy brand and now it's everywhere. Ooh. And so she gifted me three makeup artists. Yeah. And so she, the girls did I? Jen, I, and, and Tamra <laughs> at the time. She did the three of us. Yeah, but it does great. it matter if you if you decided to pay for that? Does it matter if you decided? It doesn't, but like, I wanted to clarify yeah. because they were coming at Jen. So I wanted to clarify. Yeah. yeah, and it does make me look away, honestly. I mean, I do have five children. That story of losing, getting evicted from the house is real. So I don't love the persona of me like, oh, I have to get glam and maybe my kids aren't eating. You right. know, right. that's right. that's not happening. That's unfair. Yeah. Um, but we did, I was so lucky to share a room with Katie mm-hmm. and she had glam and Katie's so amazing. Like, do you want to do this with me? And I'm like, are you kidding me? The answer is like, yes. And that's yeah. women so. helping women in my opinion. Yeah. I and I that. wanted to help Amy's brand. She's yeah. not yeah. in the U.S. yet. Yep. And I thought how cool to put it on a U.S. Ooh, show. We should bring her in. The girl she's talk. amazing. Just yeah. to she's at least amazing. get some makeup artists. So, because I don't wear makeup that much, so it'd be great to like. Okay, do don't some. touch your oh. face. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you no know, makeup artist. I mean, but <laughs> another thing that I didn't like, and I, I really didn't respect the season, was you know when you come from nothing and you create something, or maybe you've had everything and you've lost things and you're coming back up. All of us that get kicked down and we come back up, we're warriors, right? Mm-hmm. And the fact that they, you know, you're. You're getting on the housewives. You're doing it. You're Mm -hmm. making it happen for you Mm -hmm. and your family. And no one even mentioned that, that you're on a show. Like you're hustling. You're, you've got a beautiful man that loves and respects Mm -hmm. you that is thick and thin through Tama's shit. And it's like, he's still there. Yes. And, and, you know, and of course, you know, the whole dynamic between everybody. And I know I think you're good with Tama right now, right? Uh, uh, No. Are you good with Tama? 
Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> well, whatever. But what I mean is, you know, we're supposed to be encouraging each other. And yeah. I joined the show because I was like, oh, women that are strong and fun. And yeah, we're drinking and having fun. It wasn't that way for me on the show. I got eaten alive. And I'm not like you, Katie. I could not handle it. I did not even know. You're a fucking a baller. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where Katie. your personality comes from, but it's I don't like, know. yeah, you need you. Know, you're semi seasoned. One one season. Sem- one. <laughs> yeah. Two seasons. Two seasons. Two, 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 yeah, two, two seasons. Two. I mean, she's semi seasoned. You know, she's got a little salt, maybe some pepper in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's just got she's salty. A she's just a little sure. bit more used to the cattiness and all yes. the uh, behind yes. the scenes drama. Yeah. That's why you always I, see my face. I'm like, what? I think you, you know? asked a great question, Elizabeth. You said, "Are you guys friends off camera?" and I think Katie and I have this same mentality of we really want to try to forge real relationships yeah. because it comes off so much more authentic yes. when yeah. we are in front of cameras, mm-hmm. if we could genuinely get to know each other. And so naturally you gravitate to some of these women more than others, but the effort of a, a real friendship, I personally, I want that with them because yeah. then when I film with you, it's like, what else, what are we going to talk about? We're just going to pick at each other. At least I have some vested There's interest background. in you. Yeah. Well, and I do, I do like being around a lot of the girls. So it's yeah. not just to work with them or, you know, work. I like actually being with them. Like Shannon, yeah. I laughed so oh my God. hard with Isn't that she woman. Great? She's the best. She is incredible. She is so funny. She makes every time you're with her fun. So I love her. So I want to invest time in her, you yeah. know? But Shannon, you know, that's one thing about Shannon this season. I could not believe that. Jugsy lady, Lexus lady. And then let's not talk about her again. No, but I'm no. just saying, I can't believe. See, for me Get to see name, a woman <laughs> to say she has videos and then for her to be involved in some money thing. To, so I, I'm a very sensitive to extortion and things like that mm-hmm. for my history of just people in general trying to money grab at me. So when I heard that, I mean, I like Shannon in general. That Blew, I almost blew my top, but I know I can't say much on a podcast because I'll get sued. I can't, there's no, I don't right. want slander. I've got yeah. good lawyers, but not course, good enough right. for that. <laughs> so I just like shut up about it. But that is so wrong that that was dark. I thought that was too dark this season that what they were doing to her for, you know, she got a DUI. She owned it. She, she, you know, people get DUIs. Like right now, apparently it's rampant. <laughs> the DUI thing. Oh, Karen Huger. Karen. Oh, from yes. Karen. Yeah. Just but matter. but I mean, you know, we're supposed to be. Yeah, she made a mistake. She's owning mm-hmm. it. Let's lift her back up. Not let's smash her down. Date her boyfriend. Get my airtime. I mean, I like. I don't even know Alexis, but I was upset because I know Shannon was going through a hard time breaking up with her boyfriend. And then, we have all said we cannot imagine sitting in either of those positions. No, correct. And and I will say to you, I as a viewer, I get your perspective. Like I hear everything you're saying. It's it's so when you're in it and yeah. you, Alexis comes in, the way she loves that man, the way really? she defends that she man, does. So it's almost yeah. to her detriment. She she's just very loyal. She's so loyal. So she really loves him. It's not just for show. Yes, that, they are. They in are love. like. They're in love. Well, I believe the relationship. They really, are, I didn't. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't leave it for a second. Yeah, really. Yeah, but that's fine to be in love, and it's fine, and it just happens to be that. But you haven't got to over talk your relationship in front of Shannon. I think that's wrong. When you're, I over, know, when there's you're a over, respect there. There, there really should a, be. A it could be. Look, I'm happy. I'm. I'm just uncomfortable for you, but I'm really happy we've gotten engaged. Not. Oh, we fuck four times a day, and it's just. It's too much. It well, was, in her defense, it, she just clarified that recently. I know she said everybody was. Every, asked, we all went around and said that we answered the same question, and it just had her answer. So it looked like she just like came out with that. But I remember we t- we all said the answer. We were like, yeah, yeah. Wow, it was like a table question. Yeah, that's, right. That's a, that's, that's yeah, we activity. were like we were like holy Girl. cow. I mean, look, I think they brought her on because she was going to play the villain, you know. So she was brought on to mm-hmm. make Shannon feel bad about herself and everything that was going on already in her life. And so, I mean, she played the part, I think, you know, and I mean, look, and of course we all know this, like the way things are edited can be a lot more extreme, you know, Yeah. but I mean, I do not think Alexis thought she was coming on to play the villain. I I think think it's been a hard, Mm -hmm. I think it's been hard for her. I'm saying, I think the show brought her on. She's the only housewife or like famous person that has to turn their comments off on their Instagram. Oh, I can't imagine. So she doesn't, she's not allowed to leave a comment on her Instagram. She shut them all down. So she, even she knows that the fans are coming after her for what she she's does. doing to Shannon. She for she sure knows. So she, she doesn't. Knows. She has them all shut all shut down. 
So do you get along with her then, obviously? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So I like Alexis a lot. Really? I do. Okay, so then please turn this around for me because my okay. take was I <laughs> just thought she was a fame person and was like dating this guy because John says he wants his privacy, but yet he's doing red carpets. I mean, I'm like, this is crazy, know, people these two. say that. It, it is, it's yeah, an interesting dynamic. And yeah. I, I feel like, it's so hard, Elizabeth, because if you sit with John and Alexis, they make sense. Really? Their story makes yeah. sense. Really? When you sit with Shannon, she makes sense. And so you're constantly, we're, we're always like, we're always cheating I'm on like, one of them. Holy cow, what are you we doing? You know, like, what are we, yeah. Shannon's feelings are hurt when we're with Alexis. Alexis's feelings are hurt yeah. when but, you're with oh, Shannon. I did not know this. Yeah, so Alexis say, is a good woman. She's she a good is. Woman. And I'll just say, like, what okay. about, uh, definitely with the relationship, she could be a good woman. What about the suing? Do you still think that she's coming from a, a good place where she's suing Shannon? And, I can't and, answer to that. I don't yeah. know. I wasn't there. How and many also, years she wasn't ago the one doing it. Because that, it was that, John. Yeah. But she comes in with paperwork. So well, I think she was like talking about what he like what was going on, but she wasn't the one right. suing him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just say this. This summer was like the hardest summer for our family. My aunt, who was like my mother, died. Three days later, my father in law died. And the only two people of this entire cast of women that reached out were Jen and Alexis. And even though at the time, what you saw, Heather and I weren't getting along, I would still text her, I'm so sorry about your father-in-law or whatever. I only got messages from two of them. Really? So Alexis has been very loyal. They sent me flowers. They like Alexis offered to come over and bring me food. Like that's a kind person. Yeah. You know, in a time that we're just going through the worst of it. It's a behind the scenes, thoughtful person. They didn't have to. Yeah, Mm -hmm. very. Well, this is a whole new perspective on Alexis that- I did not expect. It's very kind. And 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 Katie and I have had real conversations with Alexis. Yes. Like, you know, you think maybe it's time for you to step back a little bit, let John yeah. and Shannon we tell handle. We her. We're very honest with her. Handle what yeah. John and Shannon need to handle. Yeah. She's just, gosh, there's more passion in that woman than probably anybody I have ever met. And just she goes, <laughs> like, for her man. She does. she does. Honestly, you know what I told her? Last season, Ryan went through the ringer. I mean, yeah. the ringer. And I sat back a lot. Because I didn't know how to take it all and I didn't know how to defend it. And I told Alexis, I'm like, actually, there's a part of you that inspires me because I wish I would have been more vocal. More for vocal my, mm-hmm, with right. for my relationship. Him. And right. and so she's like the opposite end of the spectrum. She yeah. just goes hard. <laughs> but she will marry that man. She will. Yeah. Really? She will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she will. Really? Well, I mean, okay, I guess I am st- Almost speechless because that's totally not what I heard. And this is amazing because- You should have her on. She's you heard it here first. Yes. Alexis isn't so bad. You yeah. should have her on. I think she could change your mind about her. Okay. She's all kinds yeah. okay. of um, good times. Have, have she and John on and kind of like- Do it. Do maybe, it. But have I mean, a light that goes on when it's your turn to talk. Yeah. You know? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so how does your husband handle the limelight? Because he's very reserved. I mean, he's on the Golf Channel, so he does a lot of already television stuff, but there's a lot of drama. I mean, how is your family handling it? Um, My husband's used to editing and production and shooting, and he's used to all that. Yeah. Um, But this is like a whole different thing. (laughs) Um, He thought like the things we were doing were real things. Like the dinner party, we were really having people over for dinner. You know, he thought that like these were all real things (laughs) happening. Because he's, you know, he's in golf, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, He's very kind. He's very supportive. He's very calm. Yeah. You know, he gets mad. I was saying the other day when he gets mad, he's like, oh no. You know? And I'm like, (laughs) whoa. (laughs) Oh shoot. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) I know. So a lot of times in conflict, I I don't know what to say back because I don't have conflict at home now. Yeah. You know, I've had conflict for 10 years. So it's been fantastic. Um, The kids like doing it sort of. I mean, our seven-year-old, we only let him watch the scenes he's in, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, my <laughs> daughter has talked a lot about her birth father and that's been very cathartic for her because mm. she doesn't have a relationship with him. And we've never spoken about him on social media or anything. Yeah. So it's been good. I think there was that really good scene where you um, had your daughter and Tamara had her daughter and I thought yeah. it was really well done. Yeah. Both both the girls um, seem to know exactly what they want and what they're not going to accept in life. Right. Which is really good at such a young age. Well, unfortunately, they both had bad examples. Which is what you need. Right. Yeah. And I think the silver lining is mm-hmm. now they know exactly what not to put up with. So that's yeah. good. But also, I think being on reality TV, you are exposed and it is... For me, it was a therapy lesson 
and mm-hmm. session. Mm-hmm. Um, what was exposed in my season was something I wasn't expecting at all. Oh. And I lashed out on a lot of people because I was like, how did this get exposed? And um, I had some childhood issues that they digged in, found out, and then oh, no. poof, it's on camera, you know? So it was very That's traumatizing for yeah. me. Um, yeah. But ultimately, in the end, it was great. It was therapy for me. I'm in a better place in my life. And it's all over. The, there's nothing you could say or learn about me that isn't out there. So realistically, the, <laughs> wow. they say the truth will set you free. Mm-hmm. And I think reality TV wow. does that to you. Gosh. So it's great that your daughter gets to, in a weird way, experience reality TV because you're sort of out there. They're going to dig. They're going to find everything about you that's wrong. Oh, yeah. Because they're trolls. They're out there. Just learn that. They're, they're dogs on bones they're as well, troll. aren't they? The fans, they'll take something and they'll just run with it. Yeah. Which is probably why you had such a hard time through your season yes. with everything you do because everything revolves back to that one time when you went through a, a bad bad spell. Yes. And the same with Shannon. That one time she yes. had a DUI. They, everything goes back to that one time. Right. Then yeah, there's no it progression. Yeah. It's funny. I feel like there is kind of like to what you're speaking to, whatever's in there in all of us is going to, it's going to come out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now it isn't always the way it is. Right. Right. But there's, there's always components that are, are truth. And I think I sat in this spot for so long because I didn't know how to speak to that. I didn't know how to, and, and it has taught me that, the ones that matter need to know. And then the ones that don't, I don't owe it to anybody. I correct. felt like I needed to like vent, correct, correct yeah. or set it mm-hmm. straight, or I needed to right the wrong, or who did I owe an explanation to? And you know what? I don't feel that anymore. I just have to write it wrong for me and the kids. I want to be the best for Ryan. Um, and that feels good for me. They yeah. say it's pay attention to the vital few and ignore the rest. I agree. Oh. And, mm-hmm. and I that agree. noise, you just, I'm sure have to let go. Mm-hmm. And I'm certainly glad that, you know, that's what's happening. And and I want to talk about you and Sutton. Let's change the subject a little bit. Okay. Um, so you're yes, friends with yes. Sutton. Uh-huh. And she has a clothing line, she right? Does. Or something like that. Sutton and brands. So how do you so I just wanted to kind of switch it, switch the topic up a little bit. Okay. Um, I actually bought one of Sutton's. Now, how good of friends are you with Sutton? Uh um, we saw each other a lot more last year before okay. filming. Because now, because right after we wrap filming, they started filming. So okay. it was kind of like, we don't, you don't have a lot of time, you know, when right. you're filming. <clears throat> so did you, okay, so I wanted to kind of touch really quick on, so you, you knew Sutton, who then knew Gina. Correct. And then you came to Orange County through Gina. The show, yes. Yes, uh-huh. right. Okay, yep. okay, uh-huh. got it, got it. Yeah, so Sutton and I connected because a few years ago because- we're both from Georgia. Okay. And she wanted to get into golf, her business. And oh. so my husband is like Mr. Golf. So we kind of connected that way. And then she went to Ohio with us to like this tiny little town. I'm sure she was miserable um, <laughs> for a charity golf tournament. And she was like, they don't have Belvedere. And I was she like- She must really want to get into golf to go all the way to Ohio. I know. Her Wait, and her business partner. Ohio. Her business partner is a very big golfer. Okay. And he's a fan of my husband's. So I think he was like fanboying a little bit. Aww. So, oh, um, cute. yeah, so they yeah. went with us and it was so fun. Um, and then she heard I was casting um, and she introduced me to Gina. Well, this is before I was casting. Um, she knew we were looking for a house and she was like, oh my God, my, my girlfriend yeah, is the a real house estate thing. agent. Gina's and, real estate. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So Gina drove me around like, uh, where does she live? RMV. She, our Rancho yeah. yeah. She drove me around there and Kodo and Ladera. And I was like, you know, I don't know if these are for me, but I like them. That you is know? not Riverside, by the way. Well, I learned it's that Coda is not Riverside. Did you think it was she thought you were in Riverside? She thought the no, Coda was Riverside. I thought, oh <laughs> no. So this is not Riverside. I'm, I'm. <laughs> she thought Riverside County, not Orange County. Well, I'm geo challenged because it's too. It's way out there. It, it is. It is pretty yeah. far. It's far, and that's like, why it wasn't for me because my husband has to be near an airport. So living in VA Newport, house? we're right oh, by John yeah. Wayne, so we have to be close to John Wayne. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why we're in Newport area. So, um, anyway, so we. Gina and I hit it off. We were in that car together for almost five hours. Oh, jeez. We talked the whole time. And then I I told her, I was like, hey, listen, I'm just letting you know. The next time I saw her, I said, I'm going through casting. I don't want it to be a surprise. I don't want to lie to you. We really are moving up here. So even if I don't cast, I'm still moving up here. I still have to be up here. You had your eye on the prize. Yes. Orange County. Yeah. Well, and my (laughs) business, I, I just, you know, and I just came up here and it just felt a little bit more like it suited our family. Yeah. And we were in Del Mar and didn't, we didn't fit, I don't think. You know, it was a yeah. beautiful area. It just didn't fit our family. So 
Um, and how was Gina, friends. by the way, finding a house? Was it? She's pretty amazing. I mean, she's, she's a very, hustler. There's no dull moment with Gina. <laughs> I've said that. She's very funny. She's very quick. You know, yeah, she is. So it makes it makes it a lot of fun to be it, around her. And you just did an interview with Jeff Lewis, and I it was funny, by the way. I I love that man. <laughs> I like, do too. It was he so, so fun. good. He's it was very fun. Yeah. Oh, do you like Jeff Lewis? Don't yeah, we? Of course. We all love yeah. Jeff yeah, Lewis. He's I mean, great. I never got to interview with him because COVID and all that stuff. But I think Kelly at one point said you should interview with Jeff Lewis, and I didn't know who he was at the time. I should have done it. I never did it, but whatever. So he had said something about Gina's accent. Yes. yes. They were talking about Gina's accent. Yeah, he's accent. like, he's like, that accent, what is that? Everyone <laughs> thinks it's it's not fake. No, she talks no, like she, that. That's she how has she a talks. Jersey accent. Yeah. She has an accent. What is it? It's New Jersey, York. Long Island. Jersey, Long yeah, Island. Long Island. Island. It, it, yeah. it gets Sorry. thicker with certain words, but I think that's the yeah. same with anyone who's got an accent. Yeah. Yes. Like I said on Jeff Lewis, when I get angry, my southern drawl comes out. Yeah. And the kids are like, what do you say? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but so it comes out, I think, in certain times yeah, of her. She too. really extends sure. her letters out, like in her words, yes. you know. So it'll like be like, bowl. oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How is that? How does that go? <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yes. But it's endearing. It's where she's from. It's, you know. <gasps> yeah. So, I mean, so do you guys get along with Gina? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, good. So, question. Um, well, not question, actually, ob observation. So, Gina was sort of ran through the mud. When she was renting in a, a condo and remember Shannon walked in and she's like, oh, you know. It wasn't a condo. Oh, was this it was like, like a previous season. It was a guest. Yeah. Like a, a casita. A cas something she's exact, like, oh, yeah. this is cute or whatever. Aww. And at the time, so Shannon, you know, like when a woman's down, kicking her when she's down Not bugs good. me. Like yeah. it's like, you but know. But yeah, Gina was kicking her down this season. Well, when Gina was frustrated because she's trying so hard to build her real estate business and oh. she's doing amazing and here Gina puts me in a house or helps me find a house and then I get evicted. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. It was, you know, it was hard for Gina. She didn't understand it and that's part of my fault because I, you know, at that time, you guys, I didn't think to call Gina. You know, when your life is, I was really, chaos. truly trying to figure out what I was going to do with, with well, the kids. Well, you have a, you're a mother of five yeah. Yeah. kids and, and five dogs. And I was trying to trying actually to... downplay yeah. a lot of it with my kids because well, that's such course. a, I didn't even know how to have Hard that conversation with them. And so Ryan and I were having conversations. My dad and my mom and I were having conversations. I was trying to figure out what was going on with my ex. And, and five so kids. Gina just wasn't on the radar as, right. as selfish as that may seem. No. So when she and I actually got to have the conversation, we saw each other's perspective, but it, it was heated for a minute. And I cannot fault her for that. No. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I agree. I think Gina had to vouch for you, had to put a recommendation down. So I understand why she got her feelings hurt. Yes. Because it's, it's difficult when you just started your business yes. and you said, I found somebody, I, I vouch for her, yes. she's going to be good. Yeah. And then you get evicted. It does look, does go bad to look bad on, on Gina. Right. But when you sit down and have a conversation, she's like, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. she's got a million children herself now. So. Right. And, yeah. and we've had that conversation yeah. and we're great. Perfect. So I'm just glad that you were running out of time. I know we only have 30 minutes with you ladies and we're already almost at that mark. Oh my gosh. But, um, you know, I, I think it's great that now you're getting along with the ladies. And I did create relationships after I was fired and I love everybody oh, now. <laughs> I like literally we get along. You don't need to get fired to create relationships. So when you, you go do back it now. On? When you go back on? Oh, absolutely. Of course. I mean, oh, I know would. the ladies now. I mean, wow. duh. But also, <laughs> you know, it's funny because now I know uh -huh. what an Orange County housewife is. Mm, like yeah. what it takes to be on there. Now and I understand well, you the assignment. To me. Okay, I have a question. What does it take to be an Orange County housewife? Yeah. Uh, it takes you and you and balls. It takes little girl balls. It and take, a few sips of alcohol. Takes some, it takes it some... It shouldn't take that. <laughs> it does. Well... <laughs> I it think it, it takes it takes a backbone. It takes uh, it takes a little bit of this mm -hmm. and a little bit of this. And I didn't know I was took real emotion into that. I was really emotional. Yeah, it wasn't. You can be emotional, but you know you need to know when to stop it. I I didn't, and I just didn't know how. I was never used to women beating me up. Yeah, but that you were being authentic. What was and your that's growth okay. in it? What did you? Because I I I have learned. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I oh. had growth in this. What was you? What was your takeaway? I let myself free that I am who I am. And if you yes. want to judge me and you want to smash me down, I'm okay with that because I know who I am as a woman. Yes, exactly. I know who I am as a person. Yep. And and is I had to learn who I was quick because not just the women beat me down, the fans. They oh, were just, oh man. I mean, just online, you know. So I guess I learned strength and, I, you know. <laughs> That's, that's good. That's yeah, invaluable. Yeah, that's good. Uh, anyway, I learned strength. And, and, you know, we all start after, you know, I, I started... 
I, a podcast afterwards. It took me a few years to get over being fired and kind of like whatever and get back into it. And this is the first season that I've actually been watching it and really enjoying everybody. Thank like this is good. what I wish I had the COVID season where everyone wore masks. I cannot imagine. I didn't get to know like. anybody. I didn't get to even talk like nothing. And then all of a sudden, She's lying. She's this. And, you know, Bronwyn and her, you know, 20 kids and lesbian stuff. And, you know, I was just like, and then I had all this other stuff. And it was a dark, dark episode. And I wanted fun. Like, well, it's yes. tough. You also didn't get to do any girl trips. You got to do no, nothing. nothing. Like no that. press. Oh, yeah. Nothing. No watch what happens live. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a media. Andy you did until it the end. Online. I did everything online. So you yeah, were that's... filming during the shutdown of COVID. Yes. I remember you having they a were, curtain behind you, your hat on. Yeah. They were a month and a half into filming when uh, they shut everything down. Wow. So they had to get started filming. Uh, yeah. Nothing. So they literally stopped filming Crazy. after yeah. Bronwyn's uh, Val Renewal because we were all in the desert for yeah. that. And it literally like, I was like, I was surprised, but I think it was already all set up and like, it was in Palm Springs, so we were yeah. all there. And then uh, right after that, it was all done. Wow. Well, and, and I couldn't get to know. Until like, you June. ladies are so lucky you get mm -hmm. to know the other ladies. Yeah. Like, if we were six feet, I was like, so what did you, what do you, no, I can't talk. Okay. No, but they <sighs> let you guys, once Literally. you guys, no, once they started filming, because they were getting COVID tested, so you guys were fine. You don't have to wear oh, yeah. a mask. Four thirty in the morning, step up your nose. This little tr car shows up at my house. Yeah, shoving we stuff. Had that. I mean, it was just we like that, horrific. But nothing like that was last season. We that we did the testing, but nothing. They were still like, doing testing. You still did testing last, last, season? Yeah, last season. That's crazy. I even you told did COVID them, like, testing the, last season. A couple of days before the reunion, I was like, I don't feel good. I had like a fever. You remember? I was <gasps> sick, and I was like, should I do a COVID test? And they're like, nah. I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, like because it just doesn't really, you know. No. Which I remember I filmed with you last season at Emily's. We had to do the COVID test before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. It was, it was literally last season. I'm like, still, there was still. I know. Yeah, yeah exactly. I started twitching. <laughs> Wait, that's my choice the up times. Yeah. <laughs> my weight loss. <laughs> that's the swab. But I will say the best to come out is like my relationship with Jen. Because I do feel like if I didn't come back, we would still be friends. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. we're like, we actually are friends. Which yeah. is amazing. No, I, nice. we can tell. No, yeah. this yeah. is great. And I think you supporting each other and, and, just being able to support each other through this whole endeavor of housewives yeah. and and reality is quite the quite the the life's feet, you know, with your family. Don't you yeah. feel like you kind of entered into this like secret club? Like you yes, can't prepare totally. anybody for it. No. And when I came in last year, I had Tamara, but Tamara had done this forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all everyone had filmed at least six years, and then there was me, you know, this like deer in headlights like go yeah, yeah go have fun yeah. with that and so when she came in and i clicked with her i she felt like a godsend to me because yeah. there was somebody you need support yeah. i mean there was somebody in it that, that i could trust too mm -hmm. yeah well and that's the thing is they they threw me in with kelly dodd and i and i got to know everybody but i didn't really get to know everybody but well, you came in as bronwyn's friend though but I didn't even was know Kelly Bronwyn. Was Kelly new with you <laughs> at no. all not even Kelly for a second the show bronwyn was no i came in as kelly dodd's awesome. friend and then they made me bronwyn's friend because Kelly, I knew from Rob, my neighbor, Rob Amy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that all worked. Oh, and so, okay. but Two Shorts, the rapper, his manager is the one who got me the gig. So it wasn't any of the housewives. Two Shorts? What? <laughs> yeah, I got the gig from Two Short, the rapper. I, oh, come on. That is how hilarious. Are you, not on are you this show? I'm Two Shorts, a good friend of mine, his manager said there's an opening. <laughs> like, you like, 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 that guy? Oh, my well, God. Like, yeah, like, like, that's my name, yeah. idiot. I'm kind of loving that. Yeah, that's like how that too. I got the gig. And I have no husband, no children. I'm like, they well, picked no, me. At the, the end of the day, you you fill out an application form, you get interviewed, you do it yourself. Or you, you bring don't... too short. I no, didn't. You... I didn't fill out an application. I didn't an application. fill out an application. But they called you no. there. Yeah. Yeah. And then you went for an interview. No. So well, I, I had do. one you phone interview and then they came to my house. Yeah. So they did. So they so at some point it isn't too short. You you knew this application. They liked you. I didn't you. fill out the application. I know, but they liked you Not enough an application. to put you, you on. You had two there shorts. Is an you didn't have to have There is an application. Oh, I didn't fill out any of that. Well, I mean, yeah, you have to fill show, out your information yeah. eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, eventually, I'm sure we did, but... But if you want to go on the show, anybody can do it. Anyone could fill out the application form, send it to Bravo. Bravo reads it and they go, we'll interview this person or we'll interview this person. Two Shorts manager, David Weinthrop, it's so funny. He's like, Elizabeth, I, I'm because Todd's like, talk to David. He's got a gig for you. I'm like, what? He's like, do your hair and makeup, dress in your finest, bring your Bentley and meet me in Burbank. <laughs> and I'm like, is this a porn? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, that is the best. And 
And I'm like, okay. So I got my Bentley. I literally got dressed in the parking lot. I'm like, who am I meeting? This is crazy. And I, I didn't even know who I was meeting. I thought it was Desperate Housewives with oh, Eva Longoria. What? Oh, I and love so that. So so and then I got so there and it was, and anyway, anyway, long story short, I got the gig. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It was fun. Uh, whatever, that Christina. That is true because you came on not married, not no. Were you well, she engaged? was going through her oh, divorce, divorcing oh, a going, really uh, you know a very uh, astute individual, okay, and the drama that came with that. How long were you married? I was with him five years together, twenty. Oh, and, 20? Uh, yeah, twenty. Yes, twenty. Oh, I thought it was like ten. I don't know. Twenty years <laughs> since two thousand. I was Are with that civil? mofo. What? Are you civil? Like, do you guys? Still- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. You know, my ex-husband didn't want to be on the show at all. And I know we're running out of time. So, but, you know, when I got on the show, I was a really heavy divorce. I was a $2 million divorce. And I have receipts, so no one can ever tell me I don't. I paid $2 million. I got an investor to get divorced from this individual, or it was David and Goliath. He was going to try and ruin me. And I was like, you are not smashing me after 20 years of being with you. You, All the shit you did with all these other people, I dealt with all of it. Yeah. And there were certain things I couldn't handle in my marriage. And I was like, I'm done. I am, I, I can handle most, but there were certain things at the end I couldn't handle. And at that point, I knew it was just my time was over. There was the starter wife, the midwife, and the hospice wife. I was the <laughs> midwife. I was not going to be the hospice wife, especially one that just sits at home while she's getting cheated on. So oh, I was like, it's not happening. Yeah. So I just made my own choice to divorce Goliath. And I had helped divorcing Goliath and the housewives thought it was a great, great thing to put on camera. I thought it would be fun, but it turned out to be intense, like Mm -hmm. more to go through a divorce and and then COVID hit and go to, I was going to trial. So to go to a major trial, it it was so much that I was 198 pounds. I was juicy as heck. They still hired me. It was great. I was, ju- I was juicy. juicy. I was juicy. And um, so anyway, enough about me. Yes. But, I, but you know, the, the thing about Housewives is it really kind of, I did it for fun, but then it all turned out to be really intense. So mm-hmm. our season was very dark mm-hmm. and it wasn't fun like your season, like little dumb drama, like paparazzi. I mean, that's the stuff paparazzi. that I love. I you love know? that you, you as a viewer, if I can say that, find our season to be fun. There was yeah, a lot like of heavy, yeah. felt like in our season. So I do love I that you like find it, it to do be fun. Do you actually watch, do you watch the seasons? Yes. You do? Yeah. You yeah. watch them too? Well, yeah, we get yeah. the episodes early. Yeah. 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 And well, I, watch I know it. that em- Emily doesn't watch them, so I didn't know if you... I know Emily has Shane watch them. I yeah. need a Shane. She said she's Shane's watched clips. Brilliant. Like she, like he'll bring her a clip yeah. or something. He's so, so brilliant I, though. Does she not watch it though? Come on. I don't I think know. Sexy I just, is in. I think maybe after a I while. I find that hard to believe. I mean, like just for the sake of like you know, you want to see yourself. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, there's no way that somebody knows that they're on TV and they're not going to see how they look. I or, hate seeing myself. I, I like to see what you're. You I are all going to say about me <laughs> yeah. when I'm not in or the room. Or that too. I mean, I, j- I just, that's yeah. what I feel like. I wonder like after I six years, you're just done with, and yeah, Shane is good. But Shane, Shane is me. really Shane's, funny. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I love Shane. He's just sort of he's a, hilarious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but, but he's on it. He watches all the shows. He tells her what, what she, what's going yeah. on. She's like, perfect. Little you get along with Emily or no? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's what? Little bullet points. Oh, I thought you asked something. Well, we're running out of time. I don't want to over overstep right now, but I want you ladies, I would love to have you back after the oh, reunion so yeah, we can I'd actually talk. Yeah. Like, you know, we, we kept it kind of light today, but I can't thank you enough for being thank here. For yeah. And just supporting other women and your businesses and your yoga and your new shot company <laughs> i want you to bring some of that on we'd love to taste will, it we're sure trying to get time. a daytime show so we're gonna have segments and you know fun stuff and this is girl talk it's just all about us being women and just enjoying ourselves and we didn't have ryan today we'll get next ryan time. we were hoping I, to get I, ryan I, we will get ryan next time we have a male spot back there it's called our googler and they just yeah. stand back there and look at we'll all get hot the googler. and then yeah. they google You'd yeah but we have a little gift for you ladies today oh wow from from us to you. So You're this so is sweet. this is for Jen. Thank you. This one is for, for Katie. Katie. Wow. And I this know. is blue Ryan. bag. You got Ryan a gift. Yeah, the girl, oh, thank I you. did. The I girl got a special a gift. gift. You want us to open these? <laughs> Yes, the please. And those Even are just something. Show up. That, I didn't know the Googler no showed. It's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> the Googler. The Googler. He the still Googler gets a no good. He still. Next time when he comes on, I won't get. I'll fake give him the gift. Okay. Then. Okay. okay. How perfect. about that? 
Oh. So these are just something, and and it's just something little, just and you can have it engraved if you'd like. Oh but I didn't. God. It takes eight weeks to engrave it. It was supposed to have our podcast name oh on it. Oh my gosh! But just a cute little stamp. Yes. Oh my god! Thank you. No, you're That's welcome. So nice. you're, and yours has <laughs> so yours has pretty. two for you and Ryan. Wait, hold on, hold on. There you go. So yours has two little it. Oh my god. You gosh. and Ryan. Thank you. That's so You're kind. You're welcome. Amazing, Thank you. you guys. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I'm so glad I didn't bring you anything. You don't need to bring me anything. <laughs> I was hoping you'd bring me some shots. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Next, next time. time. I for sure will. Oh, next so time, sweet. ladies. That well, beautiful. Thank you. I yeah, can't thank really you enough for being here. And just, you know, the whole crew loves you. I'm glad you love the studio. Thank you for watching this episode of Girl Talk. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. Christina Wright. J.D. Silva. Jen Pedranti. Katie Janella. Until next time, like, follow, subscribe, and support us on Patreon. And don't forget to watch the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You like it? All right, that's a wrap. <laughs>